but you must. It's you what, must do it. It's you what must. I gotta do. Hey, what's going on? Charlie here. I'm Jean. Thanks for tuning in to Multicasting. We're gonna do something rare that we normally don't do. We're gonna yeah. do an uncorking for you. Uncorking. That still has plastic on it, and I'm gonna... I'll do that. I'll let you get to that, Jean. Okay. Uh, I've been, uh, this has been in our boxes uh, for a while now, um, waiting to be reviewed, and mm -hmm. I'm excited about it. By boxes, she means boxes of stored whiskey that we have that we have to get to. Uh, so yeah, I don't do a ton of uncorkings here on the channel because most of the time you drink the whiskey from here down, not from here up. So we, <laughs> you want to. I want to, yeah. Um, you know, I know next to nothing about this whiskey, but right now I'm really digging this bottle. Yeah, is it easy to pour? It's easy to pour and it's okay. got some, some ridges on here. Uh, so limousine whiskey. The six-year-old rye. Mm -hmm. um, it is from Dancing Goat Distillery. I like the name already. Uh, distilled, family tradition. Um, rare oak limousine, Forest mm. of France. Uh, let's see here, distilled from a rye mash, barrel aged with French oak staves, finished in a limousine oak. Um, this is handwritten. I believe that says 46.5. What ABV is that? 96.5. Uh, now, I'm going to tell you right now, it's just poor penmanship. <laughs> they used a Sharpie when they should have used a pen. Hmm. Um, I don't know what the ABV is. This is weird. I think it says 46.5. You're holding it far enough away that I 46.51, maybe. No, I think that's a percent sign. Oh. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, it's something. So, um, 93 per proof? Yeah, age six years. I'm excited about the six years age statement. Mm -hmm. um, and this is our first ever limousine oak Ooh. rye. Yes. Interesting. Yeah, I'm excited. rye mash. If you know anything about this whiskey, leave it down in the comments below. I'm curious what the actual mash bill is. We. I am getting impromptu. Good. Some spearmint. Okay, so it's a rye. Some lemon. Okay. Uh, hint of vanilla. I can tell it's a rye. The clove is there. The clove and the spearmint with some lemon furniture polish. I think you nailed all the notes. Mm. Oh, what am I doing? So one thing we do here when we uncork is we, leave, we like to leave the cork off just for a little bit. Just a little. Just the tip. Just to see if we like it. Just, just see about it. It's what we do. <laughs> um, some butter, buttery hay. Yeah, this is very... Um, Almost give me some malt notes. The, the spearmint and clove, the clove's kind of shining through as it's opening. It's got a nice nose. And I am a rye guy. If you like our shirts, go to multicasking.talk.com because I can talk. <laughs> multicasking.com, pick up our shirts. If you like shirts. If you like them. If you like them, put them in I'm not getting too much other than that. And it could be, you know, probably because we just opened it up. It, That's probably, probably yep. true. I'm going. Have a go in. It's got a really nice, soft, smooth nose. I get French oak now. Mm. Ooh. Got me. For 46. I was not expecting that. Got me. Um, <coughs> it's a peculiar note. Um. We have another whiskey that has, that's finished in French oak. I can't think of what it is, but I'm getting that same French oak note. Yeah, it is. It's very oaky. Um, this is a unique rye. Mm. Um, it's got a rye nose. It starts out burning. Starts out burning. It does. Yeah, this isn't this isn't uh, very smooth. It's got like a cinnamony yeah. type of. of uh, I wasn't expecting cinnamon. It's a red hot cinnamon, uh -huh. fresh out of the red mylar. It, it starts out with that cinnamon, it, cinnamon mid palate, cinnamon finish. Yeah, it's a long cinnamon, <sighs> like I just ha had a stick of cinnamon in my mouth. Cinnamon gum, big red chew, big red, Ooh. big red gum. I miss cinnamon big gum. red. I wonder if they still make that. You can kiss longer with Big Red. Mm -hmm. No little cinnamon gum freshens breath longer than Big Red. So kiss a little longer, stay close a little longer, hold tight a little longer. Okay, I know you can. 
<laughs> yeah. Hmm. I'm not certain that I like it neat. Let's see if I like it with water. It's very sparky for a six-year-old rye. I like a sparky rye. This is very sparky. Um, yeah, I'm right there with you. I don't know if I like this. Hmm. Uh, neat. Let's see what water does to it. And it could be because it's a neck pour, which is why we normally don't do neck, it, neck pours. It could be, you know. And then we come back to this and we'll be like, Oh, oh it's amazing! It's so good, best ever. We <laughs> got to redo the review. Yeah, we might have to redo this. We'll see what happens. But every now and then we like to do that uncorking just to keep ourselves honest, keep ourselves on our toes. Mm -hmm. So, water didn't really bring out anything new. Um, I I didn't mind the nose before it's just same cinnamon and lemon for me yeah it is uh, did I miss any information on the bottle I, it's bugging me now what, what other whiskey we have in a French oak stave I know it was decent but I can't remember what it was mm. but the French oak comes through uh, it's not yeah. your normal oak it's like a perfumed oak if you will this this is just it's harsh it's a little it's a little harsh that's a little harsh, Gene. It's a little it's harsh. It's a little harsh. <laughs> um, I, I don't know. I like it better with water, but it is still harsh. Mm -hmm. You're right. I had high hopes for this. Yeah, I did too. I was really excited about it. Well, it's mm. a good, good first dram of the day. Um, shoot, I had high hopes. Uh, I'm gonna guess, Gene. I'm gonna guess and say you did an 86. What'd you do? No. <laughs> did you do an 84? Okay. <laughs> All right. I like to guess yeah. your numbers. Normally. Well. Okay. I, I was. I'm just kind of. I'm disappointed with it. I was expecting. Um, and you know what? I don't know. I don't know. I don't tell you there, Gene. Uh, but what did you pay for it? Um, I paid thirty-four dollars for this. Thirty-four dollars. Yes. I'm gonna tell you, I like, I like the bottle. The bottle's yeah. awesome. Yes, yeah, really nice bottle. The presentation is there. Thirty-four dollars, you say? I did. I said thirty-four. I'm gonna say, I'm, I'm, I'm with I'm a full judgment. I don't think it's worth thirty-five right now, thirty-four. Uh, but then again, it's the neck pour, but it's a six-year-old age statement. I don't know. I'll give, I'm gonna give it another go. Yeah. I'm gonna yeah. give it another go. You're gonna give it another go? What do you mean by that? I'm gonna give it another, I'm gonna finish this bottle at some point in time. Okay. You gotta give a, a is it worth it right now? I already, I said oh, no. Oh, you said no, yeah. I said no. It's not right now, yeah. but doesn't mean it's not a value here in a minute. What's it? Here in a minute? Opens up <laughs> over the next 40 minutes, I don't know. Anyway, whatever. No. Nope. Win some, you lose some. <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh, yeah. Uh, well, subscribe. Yeah, subscribe. Oh yeah, subscribe. subscribe. I always forget to say subscribe. So, yeah. Good times. We, we like to have fun on here. Just, and sometimes, most of the time we're bringing you great whiskeys. <laughs> Anything to add, Gene? I have nothing else to I'm Charlie. And I'm Gene. And I hope you are just as thirsty as we are. <laughs>